captain on deck. It's always a good day when we get to chat. Everything looks good at my station, Captain. Wonder where this will all lead. Want to see what I'm carrying? Until later. Thanks for stopping. Hello again. What do you have for me, Captain?
I'll take good care of your team. I'd be happy to catch up later. All is well, Captain. All things considered.
This is UC Security. Prepare to be scanned for contraband. Attention! Our scan indicates you have contraband on board. Kill your engines and respond immediately to our hail. Our scan detected contraband on board. Halt and prepare to be boarded. All illegal and stolen goods will be confiscated. I've got special orders. You're coming with me. Stand down and prepare for immediate transport to our vessel. We have orders to transport you and your vessel to your final destination, the UC Vigilance. Any deviation from those orders on your part will be considered an act of hostility and will be met with aggressive force. Smart decision. Stand by to be boarded and transferred. It might not be Jemison, but this ship is starting to feel like home. I'm telling you, the Commander's got plans for this loser. Why else would he be going through all this trouble? I still don't understand why he trusts a criminal. Seems like too much of a risk. Stop worrying and keep an eye on our guest and I'll be right back. You just sit tight. The Commander wants to have a little chat. The prisoner is ready, sir. I hope you're comfortable. We have a lot to discuss. Hmm. Highly perceptive. Let me add that to your list of skills. Speaking of which, let's see what we're working with here. Hmm. It appears you have a bit of a background as a homesteader. Good. Your self-sufficiency will certainly prove useful. I also see that you have mined on Vectera, and now you're with Constellation. You've certainly been quite busy. Oh, and look at that. Right at the bottom of this list is the criminal incident that landed you in my crosshairs. Huh. You're absolutely right. Well, I'll have my people get right on that. Now that we have that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Commander Kibwe Ikande, and I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sistev. Are you familiar with what we do? Actually, we send those out with the H-15 welcome packet, but you must have overlooked it. UC Sistev is a division of the UC Navy, while they handle the big picture stuff, we deal with a very particular problem. The Crimson Fleet. That convict is where you enter the picture. No. No, you don't. Not yet, anyway. We've been prodding at the Crimson Fleet for years, trying to take them down one ship at a time. But we barely scratched the surface. If we can get someone on the inside, we have a shot at finding a loose thread we can pull to bring it all down. Not for me. For yourself. Look, I'm going to make this simple. Agree to work for UC Sistev, and together we take down the Crimson Fleet. Refuse, and I tell these guys to throw you into the nearest lockup. Might even tack on an extra few hundred credits to your fine. Of course you have a choice. It's just stacked in my favor. So, what do you say? You 
going to work with me, or should I find someone else? You aren't leaving until I have an answer. If I didn't think you had a chance, I would have left you in lockup. You're just going to have to follow your instincts and trust me. Smart choice. I'm going to have one of my men escort you to the operations center. I strongly suggest that you don't give him any trouble. And don't bother trying to leave the ship. I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. So, you took the op instead of serving the time. Gonna be the commander's new mole, huh? Knowing it all. Trading a bunch of pirates. Got one of the guts. Yes. Yeah. What makes you wonder? Especially with the stories that come around. Like the one about how the Excuse me. This is as far as I go. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Ikande should be waiting for you. Yes? This deaf marines are the best of the best. There you are. Excellent. Now that we've established your level of cooperation with us, I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Which is precisely why we're taking a more clandestine approach. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse.
I do. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Borden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. That's classified. Suffice to say that the smuggler who was previously holding it will be spending the rest of their life in prison. That's right. So it'll be your job to convince this person that you're the real deal. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second-in-command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. We move quick around here. Better get used to it. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. Then you better learn to swim, because you're diving right into the deep end on this one. I've studied your profile. I know you can do this. I'm not about to throw away someone's life on a whim or a prayer. Just use your best judgment, trust your instincts, and watch your back. Fine. Whatever gets the job done. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdev, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. That's what I wanted to hear. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence-gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here, and good luck. That's easy to answer. You don't. We'll be monitoring your activities from the vigilance and attempting to keep it within your vicinity. When you feel you've gathered enough evidence and at the completion of your assignments, head back here for a debrief. Beyond that, you're completely on your own. For your own safety, nobody but myself and the crew of the Vigilance will be aware that you're working for the United Colonies. Basically, if you land in jail, you're going to have to deal with the fines. <laughs>